Hello everyone, this is Captain Vijay. Welcome to yet another video wherein we'll talk about the various types of chemical tankers and the various ship restrictions and the cargo restrictions that are applicable. Normally there is a very big confusion about the ship type 1, 2 and 3 and the cargo limitations. What is this cargo limitation? Is it the cross observed volume? And uh, there is also something called as 2K which is more common in the wedge oil trade. So we will study more and understand more about these types of chemical tankers. So let's understand what is a chemical tanker. So chemical tanker simple means a ship which is constructed as per the IBC code to carry cargoes as per the chapter 17. Simple. Next we have this noxious liquid substances. The NLS tanker means a ship which can carry a cargo of NLS and which is also an oil tanker. Now let's understand that what is a type 1, type 2 and type 3 tankers. In short, before going into the specifics, I would say that type 1 is a ship which is constructed with the maximum uh, stringent construction. Type 2 is a bit less, type 3 is a lenient of all. So as per the definition, the type 1 chemical tanker is intended to transport chapter 17 products with a very severe environmental and safety hazards. Okay, mostly it talks about type X cargo, maybe sometimes Y cargo that require a preventive measures, maximum preventive measures to preclude an escape of such cargo. Now type 2 ship is a chemical tanker which is intended to carry the chapter 17 products with appreciably severe environmental and safety hazards. So it is a bit lesser than the type 1 that requires significant preventive measures. And type 3 is the easiest construction of all. Now let's go to in the design structure of the chemical tankers. Here this is type 1, type 2 and type 3. So let's start with type 3. Type 3 you can see that this cargo tank is not protected from the side uh, without any distance from the side shell plating. Okay, So this is the easiest of all. Mostly the wedge oils or the, any of the type 3 vessels, uh, uh, chapter 17 which mentioned type 3 can be carried here. Type 2. The side shell plating protection is about seven, at least 760 mm, the cargo tank protection and from the bottom is B by 15 or 6 meters. And the cargo maximum carrying capacity of a type 2 is 3000 cubics gross observed volume. Now when we come to type 1, so the side protection is B by 5 or 11.5 meters, whichever is less but it should not be less than 760 mm. And the bottom is B by 15 or 6 meters. And the maximum cargo capacity of a type 1 is 1250. So if you can go to the uh, the IBC code extracts, the type 1 ship should not be less than the transfers extent, uh, no more less than 760 mm. And the vertical extent of damage 25123, uh, that is in the next slide. So basically it says B by 5 or 11.5 on the side. And uh, B by 15. Or... 6 meters whichever is lesser from the bottom protection. Now the maximum quantity allowable per cargo tank uh, which is the very much required whenever you are uh, planning the cargo storage or whenever you have a charter uh, query. So whenever you are making the cargo plan or the storage plan remember that it should not exceed 1 to 5 0 cubics in any one cargo tank. Now if a ship is sailing on type 2 and not type 3 okay we have the dual certificates of type 2 and type 3 but at any given time you can only be on one type so if your sh ship is sailing on type 2 then your maximum cargo in any given tank should not exceed 3000 gross observed volume gov and for type 3 there is no restrictions you can carry uh, more than 3000 so remember this now what about 2k that we will cover in the next uh, few slides here we will look at a simple example of a chapter 17 of the IBC code wherein it says column E mentions which ship type any cargo can be carried. For example, palm oil says 2K, palm sterling says 2K. I will discuss about 2K in the next uh, slide. Urea ammonium nitrates says 3, urea ammonium phosphate solution says 2, urea solution says 3, used cooking oil says 2. In this, you have to remember that when you have dual certificate, that is a certificate of fitness for type 2 and type 3. So any cargo which is mentioned in type 3, 
which can be carried without any uh, restrictions and the the ship is not designed to have an protection on this side as well that means by default that cargo will be also mentioned in your type 2 certificate but any of a type 2 uh, cargo for example palm oil fatty acid methyl ester will not be mentioned on your uh, type 3 certificate of fitness okay i hope that is clear now this is an actual certificate of fitness of a vessel for type 2 and type 3 now if you can see palmolin says you it's uh, tank group a b and c so here if you go to the notes you will see that a and b are probably one to six wings and this slop tank c are the group of slop tanks footnotes are different uh, you need to refer to those footnotes okay uh, for type 2 you can see palmolin palm sterin for type 3 you can see palmolin palm sterin as well this is just one simple example of a type 2 and type 3 certificate you need to refer to this uh, certificate of fitness type 2 and type 3 whenever you are planning a cargo storage now the very important part what is 2k exemption okay there are ships have which have made a mistake of not understanding what is 2k so 2k was basically designed uh, is was a exception given to for the ships to carry mostly the wedge oil cargoes make it very simple for you if it is 2k it is a type 3 okay normally your oil cam type 2 and type 3 will be having a dual certificate type 2 and type 3 fitness there is nothing called as 2k when your ship is sailing or as a type 2 vessel or a type 3 chemical tanker you don't have a type 2k now coming back to 2k uh, this is a milbros website and uh, if you can see 2k if you scroll down the note says vegetable oils that must be carried as ship type 2 cargoes double scale and double bottom on the chemical tank uh, on the chemical tankers with a maximum cargo allowed is 3000 we are aware of that already so the ship type 3 nls tankers may apply for an exemption to carry this 2k cargoes as a type 3 on the tanker as well now ideally assume that this 2k is a ship type 2 but when you say k k means that you can you can also carry this cargo on the type 3 tanker i hope i am making this uh, very clear okay now if your ship let's say is presently sailing as a type 2 tanker you can also load this bleach palm oil but remember that you cannot exceed 3000 cubics okay now let's say you're sailing as a type 3 tanker let's say you are loaded a uh, caustic soda Now, if you have loaded caustic soda, which is a type three, and some of the tanks you want to load bleached uh, palm oil in some of the tanks, then your ship is type three tanker. That means there is no cargo loading restrictions. You can load more than three thousand for even bleached palm oil. But you are loading any of the type two uh, cargo, for example, used cooking oil, triglycerides. That is a type two. Then remember that you cannot exceed three thousand cubics for even bleached palm oil as well. Now, what is this exception? This is the notes I have extracted from the Marpol that this uh, condition of 2K was given for the Type 3 tankers only for the ships which have this extra protection. They have this double bottom protection, where is the distance is not less than be by 15 or 2 meters, and the side shell uh, protection is about 760 mm. So this exception is only for the ships which have these construction. So not all Type 3 will have can carry this 2K. okay but if your ship is a 2 and type uh, but if your ship is 2 and 3 oil cam tanker then most likely you will be you will be able to carry this on type 3 as well okay this is the notes uh, i have extracted from one of the sites so vegetable oils that are identified as 2k can be carried in type 3 under the exemption of marpol so your certificate of fitness must mention this uh, exemption somewhere now in this final slide i have made a simple uh, table wherein we will understand when the cargo is 1 2 2k and 3 as per the ibc code as well as the certificate of fitness and what ship type you presently your ship is on currently on okay remember that your ship cannot be on 2 and 3 together either you are 1 or 2 or 3 okay mostly our uh, mr tankers are all type 2 and type 3 but any given time you are either on type 2 or type 3 now let's say you are on type 1 it is very clear you cannot exceed 1250 for any of the cargoes Now, when you are ship type two, any uh, IBC cargo which is mentioned to be carried on type one, you cannot carry that. Any type two cargo is limited to a maximum of three thousand cubics. 
type 2k wherein i told you that you need to be very particular that 2k is only for when you are loading on type 3 but when you are loading 2k on uh, type 2 tanker you cannot exceed 3000 cubics gross observed volume now when you are loading type 3 cargo for example caustic soda when you are loading on uh, ship type 2 okay then also you cannot exceed your 3000 so when you are making a storage plan and your any one tank let's say one port or one starboard has loaded a type 2 cargo then all your other tanks will also not exceed 3000 cubics doesn't matter what your tank size capacity is now when you are when you are on ship type 3 okay when you are on ship type 3 with no restrictions then uh, type 1 you cannot carry type 2 cargos uh, you cannot carry type 2k now here the exception allows you to carry it on type 3 without any restrictions provided you fulfill the con construction requirement which i had mentioned in the previous slide and type 3 on type 3 there is no limit so hopefully this table is much clear and uh, any mistake please let me know in the comments and uh, i'll try my best to make more short videos uh, to educate my fellow seafarers on the oil and chemical tank operations so thank you see you next time